Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. In today's episode I wanted to give you all a suburban beekeeping update. Enjoy the journey! It was about this time last year that I noticed I had a Varroa mite problem in my single colony. To preemptively beat that this year, I did a series of three treatments using Oxalic Acid! I'm not going to give a whole thesis on oxalic acid. Probably be a good idea to go look it up, especially with a warning label that looks like this. It's supposed to be a safer alternative to treatment of varroa mites in beehives. Once again, with a warning label like that, the jury's still out. It's basically a powder that you're supposed to superheat and it sublimates to a liquid and then into a gas, a vapor, that uh, pervades throughout the colony and kills any living mites that aren't capped in cells. So this is pretty easy treatment for me to do here with the screen bottom boards that I have. I generally waited till about late at night when I knew that most of the bees were in the colony and I basically vaporized my bees for three consecutive treatments seven days apart. This is supposed to break the cycle of any varroa mites. Of course I was pulling boards and checking my mite loads and to be very honest, it actually looked really good. I didn't have near the mite drop that I did last year with no treatments. So I think by preemptively getting on this, I was able to kind of head off my Varroa mite issue, at least get it within manageable limits. With that being said, I want to get you up to date on to how the colonies are looking right now and what, they, what we are doing to get them prepared here for fall. This will probably end up being the last time I crack these hives open as deep as I'm going to. The bees themselves are preparing for fall and winter by propolizing or gluing all the wooden wear together. So Queen Erin here is looking about normal for this time of year. Our nighttime temperatures are getting into the 60s and high 50s, which means my brood production is actually starting to slow down. We still do have capped brood and a little bit of open brood, but I'm not seeing many eggs in these frames here. Uh, Queen Erin's brood chamber rests a little bit lower in these bottom two brood boxes. So nothing to be alarmed about by not seeing many eggs, although I am noticing that their production is starting to slow down. Queen Elizabeth is looking much the same. The top honey super is not quite filled out. The next honey super I'm taking off there is about 50-60 pounds of honey and her brood nest is resting a little higher in the two frames. You can see that with all the capped brood and open larva that we got here on this frame. But the same situation in that I'm not seeing many eggs. Both of my queens are really starting to slow down here. The bees are starting to cluster up for fall and winter and I want to just help them get ready for that by feeding them a two to one sugar syrup today. This will, like I said, probably be the last time I peek that deep into the hives. I'll remove these uh, feeders in a week or two and make sure that all the entrances are reduced and that I've done my part to help these guys stay warm for the winter. Everything's looking good in the beehives otherwise. We've harvested a small amount of honey this year and hope to split these hives and harvest even more honey next year. Thanks for watching here along this journey. There was a lot going on. If you have any questions about beekeeping, please don't hesitate to ask. I thank you all for your support and love as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. God bless.